Now, where do you, what do you even, what do you even think that is real and what's not real? I can't, I, I don't know. Like, I think it's hard for me to, and that's with anything. I think that's why I always have to like have like falling down the steps for spirit to talk to me because I'm like, no, that doesn't exist, you know? Yeah. So like, I think for me, I would really probably need to like see a legit alien so that I could say for sure, this is how it is. Well, and And then you watch my ass get kidnapped tonight or something. (laughs) Well, then, then you throw in the, you throw in the, the piece, this other piece of, of that, because there are people who have done, you know, regressions on people who have been abducted. And there are people who are Mm -hmm. saying, yes, these are legit abductions. These people have had an experience while you've got other people who are psychiatrists and psychologists saying, no, they're, they're trans, they're, this is transference. They're basically imposing their own fears and anxieties and their own childhood like experiences. And they're using the idea of UFOs as a symbol in their experiences, but it's not an actual alien. So it, it gets really convoluted. And, and so I don't honestly know what to believe or what not to believe. What I believe is that we are being visited by people from other places. The U S military has already confirmed that there has been some stuff going on and that they have been interested in this. Um, and you look in at the work mm-hmm. of, um, what is that guy's name? Uh, he conducted a lot of investigations and there's not even a show, um, about him. I'm sure all will probably tell me what the sh- name of the show is. Um, but <laughs> because he seems to know everything, he's a know it all, so, <laughs> but I think, um, uh, it's that show. What is it called? Uh, it's this show. Well, anyways, there's a, there's an, uh, there was someone that was hired by the military to conduct investigations and he was going around and he said mm-hmm. a, bulk, a bulk of the stories in the book of the stuff was just people making up shit. And it wasn't real, but there was a lot of stuff he found that wasn't, you can explain it and he couldn't really say what it was, but I know from my com- conversations with Aja that we are being visited and that there are other races in other parts of the galaxy and that they have been coming here and interacting with us for a lot longer than we believe. And not only that, but we're, you know, we're older Mm -hmm. as people, we're older than we believe as well. And that, you know, we've kind of gone through these different cyclical patterns over many, many, many like centuries. So, um, there's a lot of all that, that you kick into gear. So, you know, supposedly there's like 40 or 50 or 60 different races visiting our world Mm. and we're engaged with several of them, but there's some common ones that have made the rounds that y'all are probably here about. I mean, I found a picture that kind of exemplifies them so y'all can see this. So there are the tall whites, which are the, they're tall. They're very white skinned, very, very extremely pale. They almost look like, um, that, character that per, powder that pers- powder exactly so they look but they're very tall yeah um and there's actually a, a book called millennial hospitality where the author of that book he talks about uh tall whites that look like that and then there are the nordics which are these light white kind of they look like basically blonde haired blue-eyed white folks who um yeah. supposedly there's a bunch of different you know variations of stories behind those people some people say that they're versions of humans from the future some people say that they're the pleiadians Mm. or the andromedans it just depends on what you want to attribute to that they're the grays the grays are the typical standard you know ufo or the alien Mm -hmm. which is the uh the big eyes and there are different varieties of grays as well some of them are supposedly machines some of them are supposedly living people and then you got the reptilians Mm. which are these you know everybody who talks about the reptilians talks about them like they're the evil they're like the the they're the the source of the ideas around the, the the demons that from the Bible and that they existed in our past and that they weren't uh, trying mm-hmm. to help us and trying in, in fact trying to take advantage of us and that they consumed humans or souls or so those are all kinds of stories mm-hmm. behind and supposedly we made a deal with either the Greys or the reptilians I don't know there's something around that so there's all kinds of you know I think those reptilians might be getting a bad rap maybe. That, that's, I'm like, only because I'm like that is pretty heavy. They're the ones who who are doing all the evil. I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. yeah, 
Yeah. And like, so when you get into like the, the rabbit hole, like the QAnon people, some of them say, oh, well, you know, all the human sacrifices and stuff is because we have deals with the reptilians and we're feeding them. And like, some, all, you, mm. they tie all of that together. And it's, it just gets a bit too out there that it's just too much. It's too much different stuff that is just, it's contradicting each other. Because when you have valid yeah. sources, that's one thing. But when you have just stories mm -hmm. based around YouTube videos or around people who have personal stories, but it's not substantiated, mm -hmm. it, it dive, it dissolves and it causes all of it to become convoluted. And it's hard to find yeah. the truth behind all of that. Yeah. It makes you just not want to believe any of it and say, well, I'll just wait until I'm abducted. And then I'll <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. So interesting. I think you're 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 getting closer to abduction. Congratulations <laughs> yeah. in advance. Oh, oh, there was one more dream that I had. To, yeah, there was one more dream, and I was walking through the hills here, like through the the, the kind of caverns here, and I was like, I know it's here. I know, and in, in the dream, it's like I knew that there was an underground base here. So in the dream, I'm walking around, I'm like, I know it's around here. I just forgot where it was at, but I know it was here. I'm trying to remember where it was at. And I was talking to myself, trying to figure this out. Like I knew where this was, but I didn't know. I don't, I didn't remember exact location, but I was like, where is, but it's, it's the rocks that are more towards the Northern New Mexico area. Cause the cliffs and the rocks, they re are reminiscent of that, but it sounds like there's something going on. And I definitely feel like I've gotten a lot of experiences or there's a lot of weird things that have occurred, but it's not like I can pin it down to just one thing or to one situation. 